Last week, a trading firm called Knight Capital lost $440 million in 45 minutes thanks to a software glitch. The software basically caused Knight's computers to start buying and selling stocks like crazy, nearly 150 of them. Knight Capital didn't have enough money to handle the error, and the 45-minute mistake put it on the edge of bankruptcy. Knight needed a white knight and eventually found one through a group of investors who poured money in. They were lucky to survive. But a lot of people are still in shock that this happened. They say normally this would be caught within a few minutes by a computer. Knight's error was truly colossal. But it highlights something important. Computers dominate markets. The markets where IRAs, 401ks, and pension dollars sit, trusting the system. You can see when you look at the New York Stock Exchange floor, I remember when it was full. This is a tight shot, so you can't see the point I'm trying to make, but there's no one there anymore. Traders, uh, trades are executed by computers in fractions of a second. In that world, traders need any edge they can, going so far as putting their computer service next to an exchange server just to get their trade in before someone else. Yeah, when speed matters, the distance matters. So, you know, if your computer's here, signal is to travel further. So putting it here is called collocation, and it's quite the time saver. And that's the number tonight, 10. That's how many microseconds traders save for every mile their trade travels when they use co-location services. So basically, if you execute a, execute a trade in Chicago, for every mile the data you're sending travels on its way to New York, you save 10 millionths of a second. It's a small amount of time, but in this day and age, it translates to big money. Pretty frightening.